Hundreds of people are finding inspiration through a puppy story out of Cock County. His name is Calvin. He was found near death, left to die at a Newport shelter in November. After he was rushed to veterinarians, a foster family took him in, not expecting to see him last through the night. 10 News reporter Amelia Young shares how his journey to recovery is spreading an important message. Amelia. John, while the question of who abused Calvin and left him outside of the shelter may never be answered, his foster family knows there are more important messages to be spread, and they're doing it all through a children's book. It's a miracle. He's come a long way, but it's because of prayer. On an early November morning at Friends Animal Shelter of Cock County, someone heard a cry. He couldn't walk. He couldn't keep his head up. Near the fence, an abandoned and abused four-pound puppy. He, all he could do was scream. Foster parents Allison and Bob Sharadio gave him a warm home that night, expecting the worst. But the next morning, he got up, we started to give him some water, and he started drinking. He was making a recovery. Fast forward nearly two months, and Calvin, you want to go outside, buddy? Huh? You going to go outside? Say, hey, Calvin. Has almost fully healed. Good boy, Calvin. Good boy. The abuse he endured caused him to lose eyesight. So there are some bumps. You did it. Whoops. Okay. And bruises <laughs> oh. along the way, but oh, he always perseveres. The positive <laughs> feedback from sharing his journey on social media inspired Allison to write a children's book. It inspired people to say, I'm going to overcome what I have. They're watching his old story and saying, well, if he can do it, I can do it. Teaching kids to stay strong through their adversities and spreading awareness about fostering and animal cruelty. People are really inspired by his achievements. His spirit, a ray of sunshine, and his message, one his family hopes continues to inspire. He's not a throwaway dog anymore. He's someone's pet for the rest of his life. And you can find this book on Amazon. It's called Calvin Love Through My Eyes. All costs of the book are going to help the shelter with his recovery. And you can also meet Calvin this Saturday at the Rustic Cow in Newport for a book signing. Back to you. We're guessing a few people will show up at that, Amelia. Thank you. So fun to see him prance. Oh, isn't it? I know. He steals your heart. <laughs> he does.